educate, celebrate, connect. Arizona Hispanic Connection. Welcome, welcome to AARP Arizona Hispanic Connection. This is David Parra, and this is your program, AARP Arizona Hispanic Connection. We have a very, very uh, important topic today, and the topic is called finances, finances, budget, your needs and wants. Again, finances, budget, your needs and wants. Uh, let me remind you that all our radio shows are Facebook Live. So if you do Facebook, look for us at AARP Arizona Hispanic Connection and follow our page. Uh, we are, uh, you will find all our radio shows uh, on our page. And even more than that, uh, we do uh, have a lot of events in the community. And you will find all the promotion, all the flyers, and the way to attend, to register our events there on our Facebook page. Uh, this uh, Saturday, uh, the 29th, Saturday, February the 29th, will be in Tempe. Harkins Theater will be showing a free movie by Salma Hayek. It's called Beatrice at Dinner. Beatrice at Dinner, Harkins uh, in Tempe. So all the information you need, you can find it on our website, uh, not our website, but our, our Facebook page at AARP Arizona Hispanic Connection. Again, the topic today is finances, budget, your needs and wants. And before I introduce our special guest today, let me just read uh, something very, very, uh, I consider it important. It's a concept. It's everyone aspires to have a good job or a business, one that pays enough to live a comfortable life. When we make the money, however, it is of extreme importance to determine how to spend it how to spend it in a way that it meets our needs, both in the present and in the future. This is called budgeting. Debt is very prevalent these days. The country's debt, $23 trillion. The household debt, $14 trillion. Mortgages debt, $9.5 trillion. The car, or, uh, car loans debt, 1.2 trillion dollars and students debt 1.6 trillion dollars we all want to have our needs met and we all desire to live debt free budgeting can be of great help for both our guest today is eva felix eva felix is the director of community services division at a new leaf a new leaf. Eva, welcome to our show. Thank you. How do you feel about this issue? Debt in general is, uh, it impacts not only Mesa families, it impacts families in general across the nation. Um, as a community service organization, we strive to help our families and move them out of poverty and into some form of self-sufficiency. So budgeting, saving, understanding your debt, um, making corrective action uh, to improve your debt um, and or clean it up uh, is very impactful and it's something that we uh, take seriously. You know, it's very interesting that uh, it, it's kind of sobering to uh, learn about the levels of debt, the country, mortgages, households, car debt, credit card debt. It seems like everybody is... is living on borrowed money, isn't it? <laughs> isn't that the truth? Yeah. Uh, tell us, uh, Eva, uh, Eva Felix again. Eva Felix is our guest today, and she is the communications. Uh, she's the director of community service division. Let me say it again. She's the director of community service division at A New Leaf. Uh, your organization is in Mesa, Arizona. Uh, would you mind, uh, Eva, telling the, the audience what sort of services do you provide for the community? I understand that some are, I, I, I think you mentioned three of them that are very particular to residents of Mesa, but then that you have an array of other services that are for everyone. Would you mind? Uh, of course. So um, Anu Leaf is a nonprofit organization. Uh, we're about to celebrate 50 years. Um, it did originally start in Mesa, 
However, we do have a multitude of services, uh, not only for Mesa residents. Uh, we have uh, VITA programs, and uh, we have domestic violence shelters and housing in the West Valley. Uh, we have other resources in Phoenix. Uh, we work uh, with um, other agencies, so we're throughout the Valley. But um, as a community action agency, we do help in Mesa with utility assistance, rental assistance, and a weatherization program. In Relief as a whole, we help with housing, health, and community service. And we strive to help members of the community, whether you're a low-income member of the community, a vulnerable uh, member of the community, or a veteran, with a multitude of services and support services uh, to move you out of the current crisis you are. Amazing. You uh, do offer many, many services. And, and help us understand that you, you did tell me off the air that this, is, uh, this falls into the category of community uh, that, that we have 11 of, su of such organizations or entities in the state. What are they called again? The Community Action Programs. Community Action Programs, and we have 11 in the state, you said. That is correct. Uh, so they kind of offer similar programs. That is correct. Um, there are 11 uh, Community Action Programs nation I mean, in the state of Arizona. Uh, we do fall under the uh, Department of Health and Human Services, mm -hmm. and the umbrella that oversees us here in the state of Arizona is DES. Mm -hmm. So um, each municipality does have... Uh, very similar programs, but they don't all offer the same thing. Mm. So at Mesa, uh, at our Mesa Can site, uh, we offer, uh, we have immunization and WIC. We have access center for college entrance. Um, others may have a senior center. Others may have um, uh, maybe a daycare. So every, every community action program offers services to vulnerable populations, mm. but uh, the toolkit is a little different for everyone. Right. And I understand that you consider yourself like a one-stop shop. So basically, if they visit you, you most likely will be able to either to help them or to, to lead them in the right direction, so to speak. That is correct. A Mesa Can um, prides itself in being a one-stop shop. As a, a personal investment center, we provide a variety of services. Um, not only do we have the utility assistance, the rental assistance, and weatherization to our Mesa residents, we have financial coaching, we have financial wellness classes, we partner with the city of Mesa and offer mm -hmm. uh, an education access center, we help pay for a college education, we have Maricopa, Community, uh, Maricopa County offering immunization and WIC on site. So again, food boxes, uh, we, if you're uh, struggling with social security and disability, we have uh, that in-house. We have, um, we partner with the housing hub for those families in imminent danger of being homeless um, every Tuesday. So if you're a single mom with bald tires and is looking for work, uh, come on in, uh, mm. allow us to help you with your utilities. You want to move that part-time job to a full-time job. Mm. We'll help you get you there. Amazing. Uh, how big is the staff at New Leaf? So a New Leaf um, has just grown in the past couple of years. So we're over 600 employees, wow. close to $50 million now. That uh, is a um, that's that's pretty big. That's aggressive, yes. That is big. <laughs> so uh, before we move on on our topic, uh, would you mind letting the, the public know how they can get a – how they can get in touch with a new leaf? Of course. So a new leaf, uh, you can be found uh, on the internet. We do have uh, Twitter. We do have Facebook. Uh, you can get to uh, to us uh, either at turnanewleaf.org or at a new leaf or community service programs. We again, um, we do offer behavioral health. We offer mm -hmm. uh, foster care. We have uh, support programs. We help vulnerable populations that were homeless with permanent supportive housing. We work with domestic violence victims, and we have uh, housing for them. We a variety of services mm. depending on what your needs are. And uh, uh, please mention, if you don't mind, the, the three programs that uh, you particularly, a new leaf in Mesa, uh, you can only help residents of Mesa for those three programs that you mentioned. So as a community action program, we hel help vulnerable populations in Mesa with utility assistance, rental assistance, and a weatherization program for those who are homeowners. Mm. Um, we have um, a repair and replace. Uh, so should you be um, a m an elderly member of the community whose home is has an AC that isn't working, we'll find ways to try to help you through our weatherization program. Amazing. Let's move now to, to the issue of finances because, I, I mean, obviously we work for organizations. I mean, I work for ARP. You work for uh, a new leaf. and But we're, we're still... 
uh, human beings that live in a community and that are very aware of uh, our surroundings, our friends, our relatives. And money, uh, as I said in my introduction, it, it takes a lot to make money. It takes a lot to make yourself, as they say, marketable. Uh, so people want, uh, you know, want to hire you and they want to pay you good. It takes uh, training, it takes education, but a lot of times, even once we make the money, it, it seems like if you make too little money, you, you have a lot of issues. If you make too much money, you can also run into issues. So it, it takes, a, a, I guess, a right, a right approach uh, in handling the money that we've earned either through a business or through our employer. So what, what do you see in, 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 your day, in the day-to-day -day at New Leaf in terms of folks needing help? I mean, do you uh, see that uh, budgeting is like point, uh, like the point A where we all should start? Well, we find uh, various uh, individuals in various uh, states of crisis. So um, somebody who has had their utilities shut off, Right now, budgeting is not. They just want to take care of that immediate need. Mm -hmm. But it all starts with money management. Mm -hmm. Even if you're a vulnerable mem uh, member of the community, you've got money coming in. So whether it's through workforce, uh, whether it's through a disability payment, whether it's through Social Security, money is coming in. Uh, and you strive to take care of those basic needs uh, just to survive. But then you're always hoping that at the end of the month, you may have an extra 10 bucks to mm. save. So money man management becomes an integral part, uh, an, an integral service that we try to serve the community with. Mm -hmm. uh, budgeting and saving, banking basics. We find uh, that our Mesa residents on occasion are among the unbanked or underbanked. So trust with the community becomes integral. Mm. And Mesa Can happens to be um, one of those places where if people feel comfortable, then they're going to come to and. and to services that we're providing. So Mesa CAN stands for Community Action Network? That is correct. Oh, okay. Mesa CAN. So remember, M Mesa CAN. <laughs> that is good. Now, going back to the budget, because I, I strongly believe, I mean, I've, I've, I'm close to, you know, friends and, and family members, and, and it, it, it's very difficult to get somebody to write down. I mean, some people say, oh, yeah, I have it in my mind, but there's something about writing it down and uh, do you at your facility have like uh, worksheets that people get to kind of take and take them through exercises to write down or, or to you know to draft their budget and and what are those uh, concepts that uh, that people follow when getting your workshops or your trainings on 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 creating budgets? So uh, it's an integral part. Uh, so budgeting becomes something that somebody must learn to do. Mm -hmm. uh, so we find that everybody needs the basics. How much money's coming in? How much money's going out? So absolutely, you need to have some steps, some measures to, to see what is going on with your money. Mm -hmm. So yes, we have uh, our workshops include um, uh, documentation. We uh, everything may have started with an envelope. I, I've got 60 bucks. I'm going to the mm -hmm. market. And once that money's gone, that's all I've got for two mm -hmm. weeks. So people uh, deal with finances a little differently. Some like to work with cash. That little debit card that people use, mm -hmm. uh, there's a way that you can track that. Mm -hmm. So absolutely, uh, your banking basics is how you track where your money is going. So whether you're using an, the envelope format, whether you're uh, writing it down at the end of the month, okay, I've got rent this mm -hmm. much. I've got my car payment. I've got insurance. All of that must be at the end of the month. You must know how much is coming in and how much is going out because then you can really then detail how much money do I have left over? Mm -hmm. Do I have any to pay for those glasses, to pay for the prescription? Do I have enough to put into an IRA, mm. uh, to put into a savings account? And that's uh, one of the concepts that I, uh, uh, when I read the little paragraph that I prepared for the present, and the future, because uh, a lot of times, you know, we only think of budget uh, for to meet today's needs. But I mean, one day we're going to need to retire. Uh, and, and so it, it's more than just to meet the present's need, but it's also thinking about the future. You mentioned IRAs. Uh, I'm sure that a lot of people don't have the, I guess, the privilege uh of working for an employer that might offer a 401k, which it, I think once a, an employer offers it, 
the, the percentage of people who take advantage of it, it skyrockets. It goes high because they're offering it to you. With, whereas if they're not offering you anything, then there's no incentive, no motivation. So uh, how, how important is it to, uh, to also think of the future as you're budgeting? Well, it's integral. Uh, all of us are going to get old. All of us are going to have to retire. Mm -hmm. And all of us are going to need to know how are we going to live mm -hmm. uh, once I retire. Um, even if I'm so secure, I'm uh, a retiree, even if I don't have a 401k, mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if uh, members of the community know that you can go to a financial institution and open up an IRA with $5 a month. Mm. Uh, that's future dollars for you. Right. Um, and if you have to look to the future, because at the end of the day, uh, you can pay your bills today, but tomorrow, how are you going to take care mm. of yourself? How are you going to take care of your family? Right. So if you're, if you're budgeting for the future, then you're investing in yourself. You're investing in having money for yourself, your family, your spouse, your children. Uh, so start with maybe a small IRA. Start with opening up a savings account. Um, look to, I mean, if you want your kids to uh, have better lives than you, you probably want them to go to college. Mm. How are you going to manage that? Right. When I retire, how am I going to manage that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And am I going to have enough money to live what I consider comfortably for me? Uh, you, you don't need to go on vacation every year. How am I going to live comfortably? You need to start thinking about it now. Yeah. You know, when, when we do budget, uh, we encourage people to, when they make a list of the expenses, in other words, money that goes out, to classify the, uh, uh, you know, the, the expenses into needs and wants. I think that is super critical, you know, because a lot of times people say, oh, yeah, I, I mean, money, I just don't have enough. Well, if we write down the budget, and if we classify the expenses uh, in two categories, you know, needs and wants, I think we'll be surprised how much we uh, latitude we have to, 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 I guess, create some savings. Of course. Uh, so needs and wants. Yeah, I want to go to Starbucks and get a cup of coffee mm -hmm, every day. Mm -hmm. But do I need to do that? Right. Uh, I can buy Starbucks K cups and now make my own coffee and I'm mm. saving my, I think it's 50 cents for a K cup mm -hmm. uh, if you buy it in bulk. Right. Uh, instead of paying $5 for, for a latte. Mm -hmm. So please, yes, um, it's an integral part to know that uh, I don't need to go to buy a cup of coffee. I can bring it. I can bag my own lunch right. instead of going to that taqueria and uh, buying myself lunch. Right. You go to Taco Bell. Uh, even a $5, if you're going five days a week, that's 25 bucks you're right, spending. Right. So um, identify your needs and your wants because every dollar you save today you're investing in yourself for the future. And you know, phones these days, you know, everybody's on social media, including me, <laughs> of <laughs> course. And uh, it, it's, it's not cheap. It's not cheap to get your, uh, your phone plan with data, with this or that. Do you want it limited, unlimited? Um, what kind of phone? Do you want an Android? Do you want an, uh, an iPhone? And, you know, it's very interesting because uh, right now on the counter uh, of my kitchen counter, there is a, a, a page that my son brought from school showing that he got a 4.0 GPA. Uh, and and uh, he's doing really good. But still, even though in spite of that, I am, I am handling his phone issues, his data, in a way that, teach, that teaches him that yes, we might be able to afford, but it doesn't mean you need it. Uh, it's interesting because his phone broke and my wife had left uh, a phone to go to another one and then I ended up using it just for YouTube and then he ended up taking my, my wife's old phone and then we're looking into you know what, what, what will meet his need, especially now that he's going to ASU. So my point in saying this is that just because somebody may have the money you still need to give it some thought, right, to as to how you want to invest the money in the best way for you and your family for the present and the future. It is a critical uh, point. Uh, for me, it's it's a matter of the families that we deal with are usually in crisis. Uh, even managing uh, uh, the utility bill that you have, uh, are you on the right plan? Are mm. you on the right plan for you? Uh, wow. Uh, so it becomes integral in savings uh, because uh, your bill today may be 50 bucks. Um, here come the heat, uh, the heat right. months. Are you going to be able to, to afford that $350 bill? So it starts small and you must start young. Uh, your child uh, is in, uh, in college now, but if you start uh, showing them, Hey, if you get an allowance, do you want to buy something today or do you want to save for something bigger? Right. Um, so you start early with them. Right, right. Um, 
the uh, there is a new mandate that high school students must now give to community service and mm. must learn about financial uh, stability. Right. So uh, financial well-being is being taught in school now. Good. An integral part because I didn't grow up with that. You right, know? Right, I, right. I went to college thinking, okay, I'm going to open up a savings account and a checking account and a, you know, wham, bam, think, ma'am, I'm good. Before I know I'm in huge debt, uh, there's all kinds of fees. And I didn't learn that. So mm. it's um, you have to start with your children young and you always have to bring that home. What you save today is going to help you tomorrow. Finances, budget your needs and wants is the topic today. Again, finances, budget your needs and wants. We really want to emphasize needs and wants because when we do budget, there's some things that you have to have. Those are needs. And then the, there are those that you want to have. Uh, before we con con conclude our English program and stay tuned for the Spanish, eh, quédese con nosotros, seguimos en español después de concluir el programa de inglés. Uh, Eva, uh, <coughs> Your, your organization also offers a free tax preparation, right, a, f a tax filing. Would you mind sharing some uh, that information as oh, well? Oh, of course. So to our vulnerable populations, uh, if you make $56,000 or less, you can uh, go to any VITA site. VITA is a volunteer income tax assistance program. Yes, there are tax preparers, but it's going to cost you. Um, we haven't turned anybody away. So Anu Leaf happens to partner with Mesa United Way at our Mesa Can site. However, there are five additional sites in the East Valley, five additional VITA sites, and we offer 14 sites in the West Valley. Mm. Please look into, uh, go to irs.gov and look for VITA sites. This is free tax preparation. Even if you're um, a, a, a retired person, if you're on disability uh, and or uh, Social Security and you haven't filed in years, I don't know if you know that you can take a tax credit giving you back $25. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't filed in three years, that's $75. Bucks. Mm -hmm. um, that will maybe cover all of your uh, expenses for food for one month. So uh, please look up irs.gov or look up VITA programs and please see them. It's a free tax preparation program for vulnerable populations, uh, retired, uh, those with English as a second language, our veterans, our disabled, and of course our aging. But we haven't turned anybody away, so please seek them out and uh, seek to have your taxes done for free. For free, that sounds good. I mean, today's, I, I, I do my own taxes, but I venture to say that uh, people pay in a neighborhood of 100 to 100 300 dollars to get their taxes filed. And I mean, there's so many uh, programs that can do them for free. You can also go to aarp.org. When you go there, just uh, type in, uh, do a search tax aid. aarp.org. Do a search for tax aid. Even if you ask Google. Uh, he'll tell you uh, where to go, and there's just uh, many places, especially, uh, what is the threshold amount again, 50? 50 56,000. 56,000, anybody making 56,000 uh, $56, dollars, they can file for free. Uh, last thing before we conclude, uh, Eva, is the uh, America Saves Week. What is the America Saves Week? So America Saves is something that happens nationwide every year. Okay. Um, so what we're trying to do is encourage savings. Um, when you get your tax uh, return, a lot of families, ooh, this is what I'm going to put my down payment on, that big car mm. I can't afford, and mm. then three months down the line, you find that you can't make that $600 right. payment. So America Saves is um, an initiative that we're hoping to, so you can pledge to save. Mm. Um, it's happening at the national level, and we've taken it, uh, we're doing it at Mesa Can. So all this week, we're encouraging people to come on in, a pledge to save five bucks a month, um, a spin the wheel, get a prize. Um, if you're among our vulnerable population or our unbanked and underbanked, please, we are having five financial institutions providing a day of serving at our site. Open up a savings account for free so that you're not going uh, to a predatory lender just to cash your check. Right. You work really hard for it. Uh, open up a savings account so that you can now have all of your dollars. Eva Felix from A New Leaf, thank you so very much for being with us. Great information, and you're doing a great service to our community. Thank you, thank you very much. My pleasure, and thank you for having me. And thank you for joining us. This is all the time we have for now. This was AARP, Arizona Hispanic Connection. Stay tuned for the Spanish program. Have a great day. Blanca Iribe.